The Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Mustra Ben Ignatius Kaigama, has urged the newly installed Bishop of Ukari Diocese to build bridges of unity between different tribes in the diocese. Bishop Mark must therefore tirelessly preach the conversion of mind, heart, and behavior, which even after baptism has not yet been fully achieved. Without this renewal of mentality according to the gospel, having another diocese in Nigeria would be useless. Dear new bishop, today you receive the fullness of Christ's priesthood and become pontifex, that is one who builds bridges. You must first build bridges between God and each person, and then build bridges that unite people of all ethnicities, backgrounds, and social, social positions and political ideas. May your ministry always serve unity and peace within and outside the church. And may the priests, consecrated persons, and lay faithful of this new particular church also be, be, be bridge builders with you according to the specific vocation. I also hope that this action for unity and concord on the part of the bishop would also be carried out in cordial collaboration with the civil authorities and traditional rulers. Archbishop Kegama, who stated this during the installation of Monsignor Mark Nduquin, as the Bishop of Ukari Diocese, also used the opportunity to pray for the new bishop and the Jalingo Diocese. Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, a demanding task awaits the bishop and the new diocese. Therefore, in, in this Holy Mass, we wish to invoke an abundance of grace light and strength for Bishop Mark and his community. We ask this through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Nigeria and patroness of the new Cathedral of Ukari and all the saints we invoke in the litanies. We would also like to ask the Lord Jesus to bless the Diocese of Jalingo, which is like the mother of this new diocese, because under the guidance of Bishop Charles Amawa, it has made possible what we are experiencing today. May the Lord reward this generous commitment and preserve the fraternal affection between the two dioceses. Finally, let our prayers rise to God also for the whole church in Nigeria and throughout the world as she faces daily the challenges for inner unity and for peace and harmony in the world. May the Lord Jesus give all her members the grace to live unity in truth and love, to be one so that the world may believe in him and in the Father who sent him and to be peacemakers in the world.